back inside the cabin. Stove pipe going to the roof. It's just a nice little stove. Couple beds. Table over here by this window. I'm gonna put some shelves right there. The new shelves, we're gonna put them up on the wall over here. So it looks pretty good now. now we're getting stuff moved in. A little interesting down the hill, like there's a nice, nice uh, steep hill that we're going down. So when you're all pulling the trailer, the uh, load likes to push the quad down. Our first trip, they had so much weight in the trailer that it lifted the back end of the quad right off the ground. We'll show you some pictures later on, but we're getting her done. This is our third trip now. Well, we're up here working at the uh, cabin, starting to jack it up. Logs are pretty rotten around the bottom. Uh, we're slowly getting somewhere. Get it lifted up off the ground and try to place some beams underneath it. Get it livable again. So we do have it up in the air. And we'll just keep working at it and see what we can get done. Well, we're in the process of uh, gonna block it here and then get the second timber in on top where the jack is sitting right now. Gonna put a second timber there. Then we'll probably head to the front and bring the front up and then stuff the sides in after. Let's hope this all works. We're getting her done. Hey folks, what? it's quitting time for the day. So we got our courses underneath the log now, under the cabin. So it's sitting high in the sky again. Still more work to do, mind you, but we're running out of time for the day. A few little gaps to fix, but spray foam and screen will do wonders. Well, folks, we're back, bringing more stuff in. Decided to put a new roof on the cabin. It looked like the purlins and was kind of rough shape, so I'm gonna go through everything to get it all done. And do a bunch of stuff. New wood on the one ton there. All one or two and a half inch by 12 inch planks that we're putting on the roof haul everything in today and see where we're at when we get done. See if we got any time, maybe start pulling the old roof off. Until later, talk to you again. Hey folks, uh, five o'clock is quitting time now, so I'll just show you what we've done around here. We've been, I think we made seven trips from the truck haul and stuff, so it's been a busy day. Got lots of junk around here, I'll just show you. Turn it around. Hold a bunch of stuff, see boards and everything, all this roofing material. Two and a half by 12 inch by eight foot planks. Still got timbers to put in the floor. A roofing tin. Did a little saw work over here to make a place to uh, start getting rid of debris around there and clean up the cabin yard at the same time come back tomorrow and get the roof peeled off hopefully and we'll go from there it was a nice sunny day about 12 degrees today so pretty good so yeah 
up here pulling the roof off. Well, there was a lot of nails holding this tin on, so that it wasn't going to blow up. It took quite a time to get it off, but the squirrel's been busy. You see, he got, he's got mushrooms stored all over in here. Feel bad for the guy that we're taking his stash away. But we will make sure we put it in a pile somewhere, and then he can find it and hide it again. You go over here, we're gonna pull the, the front off where that chunk of tin is sitting up there. So, well, the roof is off now. A lot of work. Lots of spikes. Lots of black flies. But we powered through it, we got her done. Now we're just do some prep work here and see about putting some planks on the roof. Don't have, I think it's about three days and it's supposed to start raining up in this country, so I have to hurry up, get her done. No, well, folks, just quitting time. Managed to get some planking on the roof again now. It was more work than expected trying to get the old one off. We would have swore they had built it for a hurricane because there was nails under the laps and nails over the laps on the tin and so it made it really difficult to remove so yeah we'll fix her up trim all these boards up strap it finish doing this piece on the end on the overhang and screw some tin down and then she should be shedding water again day three Come up here, finish the roof off. We just got a few planks to put on the overhang. We had to put some posts in to support the uh, purlins. And do our best here today. Try to get as much stuff done here in the next couple of hours. Hope to get the tin on before we go home. Yeah. Rain's coming, so get her done. Black flies are already bad. <laughs> Well, it's four o'clock in the afternoon. We got us a nice looking metal roof. Took a lot of extra time and put wire in places where we think the squirrel might try to get in. We got wire mesh in here, up there along the top. Got spray foam in there. Sealed her up real good. The squirrel, he had probably 30 pounds of mushrooms stored inside the old roof. Yeah, looks pretty good. folks back at the cabin so yesterday when we were here we installed this nice window on the end of the cabin it does a wonderful job letting the light in and we got a window installed on this side of the cabin it's pretty livable now we made some beds yesterday I'll just show you still gotta build the latch for the door show you the inside of the cabin Table over here by this window. 
put some shelves right there. The new shelves, we're going to put them up on the wall over here. So it looks pretty good now. We fill some more cracks and stuff to make sure the squirrels don't get in here. Up here along the edge of the roof there and on the old roof he chewed his way in along here in lots of places. So we'll eliminate that by spray foam and all that. Hey folks, we just found a little tidbit of information on this cabin here. I don't know if you can see it up here. So it was September 21st to October 8th. 1989 is when this cabin was built. Oh, it's kind of interesting. Now we know how old it is. So, right around 34 years, in a sense, to the day, in a way, that when we started up, up here working on it. So, not too much junk now. Pulled a bunch of the garbage up to the truck. Taking it all home. Just a couple little things here now. Not bad. Time to head her home now. It's a bit late. Seven o'clock before I get home.